In this video, we're going to learn how to adjust Toro's T5 rapid set rotor. We're going to talk about two different adjustments. The first is the arc, which is basically the side-to-side -side oscillation of our pattern here, and we're going to adjust both sides of that pattern. Then we're going to talk about the radius, which is how far the water is shooting away from the head and how we're going to adjust that. First, let's talk about the top of the head. Here at the top, the 12 o'clock position, there's a raised arrow with a little cross on it, and that's where we're going to access our nozzle retention screw with a flathead screwdriver or a Toro tool. This is actually a Rainbird tool. I couldn't find my Toro tool before I made this video, but it's basically the same thing, just the same tool, but with a, a black or dark gray handle here. And it's got a little T on the top and then a flathead screwdriver. So we can insert our flathead screwdriver down in there to um, adjust our nozzle retention screw. Just to the left of that in the 10.30 or 11 o'clock position there is where we're going to pull our head up. We can insert our tool down in here, turn it 90 degrees, and then pull the head up. And then down here at the 6 o'clock position, we have where we can access the means to adjust our right limit. If we want to do that with a tool, we can put it in here and then adjust our right limit back and forth. So let's go ahead and talk about the rapid set procedure here. Let's take a look at our pattern and see where we want it. You can twist the top of this turret back and forth to see the pattern. So if we want to move our right limit further to the right and open the pattern up, we turn it to the right, and it's going to drag the entire pattern over this way, both the right and the left limits. But if we want to see how it's moved over here, now if we want to open this up and move our left limit out, we just twist it on the top there, and it opens it all the way up. So, but what happens if we walk up, and now we need to bring our right limit back in well, that's where we can use the top of our head here in that adjustment mechanism, or you can grab the top, the, the shaft here, actually the bottom part of the shaft does not turn, so we can grab this and twist it counterclockwise to bring that right limit back to the left if we need to, or we can use our tool here, a flathead screwdriver, to put into the adjustment mechanism here clockwise adds to the pattern, the right limit of the pattern, and counterclockwise removes the right limit or moves it back to the left. So that's how we're going to adjust our right side, but our left side, we saw it before, if we wanted to add to it, we just twisted the top of the head. And when you do that, you can feel it clicking the gears a little bit and you think, gosh, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm harming the gears, but it's actually designed to slip like that. So if we want to use the rapid set to bring our left limit back in, what we're going to do, it's a couple of step process, but it's really easy, but you just have to do it a couple of times and then it'll become like second nature to you. First thing we do, we're going to twist the top of our turret to the left, see where our limit is, and then decide how much that we want to remove from that limit. We want to, let's say, bring it back to the right, let's say 20 degrees or something like that, okay? It's here and we want it to be about here. So what we would do is turn it to the left, to the right, back to the left, that 20 degrees that we want to subtract from it, and then twist it back to the right. Now, do you see how it brought that left limit back in? All right, let's do that again. I'm going to twist it back out here, and we'll start over. See where our left limit is here? We want to bring it about here. So what we're going to do is twist it to the right, back to the left, the amount that we want to subtract, then grind it back to the right. And look, it brought our left limit back in. Super easy. I would just recommend that you do this a couple of times on your own and just get the hang of it. If you have the Toro T5 in your market, I promise you're going to learn to love it because it's a super easy head to adjust. So now let's talk about our radius or how far the head is shooting away from it, how far the water is going away from the head. So we put our tool here, and then as we start to run that, nozzle retention screw down, it starts to impede the flow of water. It'll shorten up the stream, but it'll also flatten it out and kind of widen it. So if we turn it back counterclockwise, we're going to remove the screw from impeding the flow of water, and now it's at full extension. 